前々から思っていたのですが。ジャパンは地と祝日が多いんじゃありませんこと What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wanna Medista, and welcome back to some King Koi. This is episode 36. Maybe? If not, that's okay. You can look at the title still.、Uh, what was I gonna say? I got nothing. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. The government stepped in as. Oh, God. It's gonna be a rough episode. The government stepped in so as to try and encourage people to take vacations, even if they had to force it. They call it the economic cycle in regards to the service industry. It's meant to show gratitude for people's hard work and labor. It does seem strange when you put it that way. I guess if you don't like it, why not keep the theme from yesterday and carry it forward to November 23rd so it could be called Good Big Brother Day? Brother? Sounded like Minachan was still embarrassed after yesterday. Better not tease her. Or, or what? When I headed outside. I spotted an unusual pair on their way out. Hey, it's someone I hardly ever saw in the morning. You sound sleepy. Hey, yo. You stayed over at her place? She jumped at the chance to satisfy her whims the moment she escaped Ellie san's watchful eyes. <laughs> wow, Mina's a snitch. Wise choice. Is Ellie san busy again? <laughs> For a princess, you sure do have a good head on your shoulders, but you can be a little selfish when it comes to Ellie san. You may? You mean I am? Our discussion eventually led to three of us going to check up on her. It's her first time? Okay. I couldn't tell you any of the rules, so the least I could do is show you around. <laughs> the equipment's on the thin side, so you don't have to worry about it hurting too much. Yes. Sure are. It was uncommon for outsiders to observe the fencing club in their day to day activities. As such, anyone who wanted to watch needed to peer in from outside the window, but. We were welcomed with open arms once Sylvie's princess cheat code kicked in. God dang, good googly mug. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Now that Mele san was focusing exclusively on the fencing club, I suppose I shouldn't have been surprised, but she really was extraordinary. And she has extraordinary jugs. She wasn't just strong. She had a huge, huge jokes. She looked absolutely incredible doing it. Simply calling her beautiful didn't do Alison justice. Doubted it was intentional, but the way she moved seemed like an agile dance, and you couldn't help but be captivated by her. Even though it was originally brought up as a joke, I may need to reconsider my opinion on Alison becoming an idol. She was already an adept competitor, so there was no need to deliberately primp herself up to garner attention. As far as I could tell, Alison was already bringing home the gold when she dove headfirst into fencing. Flash. What's wrong? 
Reyna was looking out the window. It was tough to see it as anything other than a giant crowd of Elisan's fans. What the? Although I failed to notice the sound the first time, I heard a series of shutter-like noises. In other words, it was the sound of Elisan being photographed. In hindsight, if we'd noticed what was going on sooner and taken appropriate measures, uh huh, uh huh, then we could have avoided a situation that was just about to unfold. Hmm? Uh, no. Enough about us. You were amazing, yeah, son. You haven't stopped since this morning. だよね、だよね。疲れない。フェンシングは体力はあまり使いませんので、それに集中力の勝負です。疲れた時にこそ。コンセントレーションを保てるかが練習で鍛えるべき最大事ですので。She <laughs> gave us a bitter smile. I guess when you were tired, you were tired. <laughs> this sound looked like she was having fun though. Today's practice must have had a must have had quite an effect on her. Huh? The limousine just so happened to arrive at the school gates. Both Sylvia and Alison got into their limousine. Rain and I should probably head back to the dorm, too. It feels like we wasted it, though. Although we'd done a lot today, like getting involved with the fencing club and grabbing lunch in the middle of their practice session, I couldn't help but feel that way. Why? I'd have fun, but I couldn't help but feel annoyed when I was hit with that realization. Why? Look at her. Gotta do what you gotta do. You're unbelievably shameless, and I mean that in the best way possible. And that would be a bother if we'd gone with them, too. Heck. No, and Sylvie, I bet she'd welcome us with open arms. If you had, maybe I could have tagged along with you. For all my bluster, I was equally shameless. It feels like in every route, Sylvie's always auto this, auto that. It's almost like it's a Sylvie route in every other route. Does that make sense? Did she? See what I mean? All she talk all she talks about is him? You're about two roots off now, Reina. That happened already. Nope. She seemed to know about the incident. The blonde-haired foreigner I took care of back when I was little was actually a princess, and we were united 10 years later through sheer coincidence. Personally speaking, it does sound like a bittersweet test of fate. And that really sucks. It's not like that, but I would have loved to have seen how a scenario like that could have played out, you know? Well, again, in an alternate universe, he did get to see it play out. We all did. That was fun. We'll do it again. If I could do it for the first time again, I would definitely do it. <laughs> Selfish? Why? <laughs> when all was said and done, they made it for a funny story and I could laugh it off now. Besides, we were good friends. And I wanted to stay friends with her forever. Yep, because it ain't her root. This transitioning is never not ear rape, dude. I hate it. As for what Rhea and I discussed the other day, I missed my chance to ask Sylvia about it. Freak, I don't remember what that was about. I guess I'll know later, maybe. I don't know. Hey. It was a morning like any other, and I took my seat behind Sylvia. Poke, poke. What's with the erotic voice? 
Quick poke in the back got an unexpectedly wonderful noise out of her. Jeez, dude, what'd you poke her? Wow, did I realize your back was your weak spot? Ho ho ho, he said. What are you, Santa Claus? That was a nice nugget of information. Why? Help? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. So we faced forward and turned her back to me once more. Poke. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> you really can't take it. Just give me flashbacks to that one route. <laughs> one more, one more. Turn around again. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> Oh god, what's what's happening? Come on, let me touch your back. Yes, stop! Arm doesn't bend that way! She twisted my outstretched arm as hard as she could and held it against my back. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I know it's your route, but chill. I get the picture ready. Uncle! Oh, uncle! Y'all like the voice acting? <laughs> <laughs> that hurts so bad. Think so, yeah. She's always saving us. Love that. Sorry, when I saw the opportunity to tease a princess, the little kid and me kind of got carried away. <laughs> Well, it's a rite of passage for elementary school boys. The desire to mess with cute girls was something everyone did at one point or another. Just tiny stuff like bouncing off each other or showing her spiders and whatnot. So, so. <laughs> alright, alright, that's that's where you should have not said that. <laughs> You've got it wrong! You basically finger gun someone in the butt and it's something Japanese kids do. <laughs> Things really had gone out of hand, but I had managed to find out what I wanted to know over the course of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> God dang, dude. The things she says sometimes, I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> Japanese people are raised under that level of degeneracy and erotic culture from a young age. I got caught up on what Edison said for a sec. Why? Oh, okay. okay, okay. Got it. No, no, it's not that. It honestly wasn't. He went around back then, right? I see. That certainly helped clear things up after what Ria had told me. Scratch that. It actually made things all the more confusing. What about the rest of Elisan's siblings? Did any of your siblings visit, namely the ones around your age? I remembered something Ria had said. Someone around our age with the name Instagram had been there with us at camp. And it was someone other than Elisan. Who was it? While I was lost in thought, Elisan spoke up. Good God. Fifteen. That was an account that should exist given the events of ten years ago. Were there any others? Maybe a little sister? Oh, 
Erisan distinctly shook her head. What the? Such a trivial question, but Erisan was acting really strangely. However, our conversation quickly came to an end what Reina, when, what, 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 when Reina rushed into the room. What are you going on about now? Mm -hmm. Reina ran up and held out her smartphone. On her phone, she had the twi twit star all right, app open and showed us one of the trending hashtags. It read, A Lady Night's Day Off. Is she really gonna become an idol? Please no. That's gonna be so. So eh. Uh, I think I'd rather have her as a bodyguard and be annoying and naggy and stuff, you know? The scary person. I'd forgotten how many times I had finger gun Sylvie's butt when we were young. Okay, why are we talking about this? Although I hardly felt any guilt for what I had done then. Guilty conscience was truly a self-serving thing. Something brought about through a mildly mischievous heart. I believe there was a genuinely trivial thing for people to do wrong. If I were to take that one step further, I couldn't understand why those who had done wrong once or twice would ask for forgiveness. Finger gunning someone in the book could have caused serious harm, and I knew doing so as a grown-up was incredibly immature. However, if someone were to say, laughed it off, laughed, laughed it off, laughed it off, laughed it off. Left it, laugh it off and forgive me. Then I could totally understand where they were coming from. With that said, modern society dictated that you get good and angry the first time around. Once you let someone off the hook the first time, then it could lead to more problems in the future. That's just how things were nowadays and the byproduct of it all. We're social networks. こっちの写真も完全な隠し撮りだね。ですね。だっさ。うわ、ご飯食べてるとこまで撮ってる。え、people that magazine publication must have sped things up. Good God. Between Twister and other social media platforms, Ella Sun was on the precipice of becoming an idol. She was practically an overnight sensation. To deliberately target the fairly inconspicuous yet beautiful attendant rather than the princess, was this the true power of the internet or was this something Japanese people did? Even her out of the shower, that's very weird. Everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Bandwagon? <laughs> Everyone jumps on the bandwagon once something takes off. Taking photos in secret was a prime example of a crime that didn't take a toll on one's conscience. Rather than taking upskirt shots, the photographer focused exclusively on her face as she stood in frame, minding her own business. Certainly understood the desire to point a camera at Edison, especially if I happened to have spotted her wandering around town. Other son probably would have ignored it if a couple of strangers took one or two pictures of her in passing. However, when 100 individuals snapped the photo of her, each from a different angle, then it became a problem. You said it. Sotalid had apparently begun to police the matter from their end. The photographers were reprimanded for their actions by the National Police Agency, which should stop 99% of them. To top it all off, the general tone of the situation suggested that anyone who had taken a photo was scum and would probably be on the receiving end of the flame war. It should eventually resolve itself. Dang, that's crazy. However, there were two problems. One was that Elistan was still someone who worked behind the scenes. Secondly, she was an incredibly beautiful woman. If this had been Sylvie, who was already in the public eye, she could have Monish their paparazzi esque behavior and the ban for the offending offending individuals that exercise self restraint when it came to her public image rights. This was especially relevant for those in the general public. However, these were the same people who performed a variety of mental gymnastics to justify their behavior in taking a, of photos of the princess's shadow instead of Sylvie herself. It also went without saying that taking photos of a beautiful woman in secret, namely Ellison in this situation, would be in popular demand. 
The more photos they took, the more followers they would earn. Sadly, there was no shortage of people whose self-worth was tired of their meaningless metric of online followers and they would continue taking photos of unsuspecting women, even if it meant getting arrested for it. It would eventually stop, but it could take longer than average. She was far more concerned with the fencing competition than the candid photographs of her circulating online. The son was an incredibly regal individual, so much so that she seemed like the kind of person who would just write them all off as long as they didn't take upskirt shots. That's so awful. <laughs> No! Being photographed in the middle of a fencing competition would not go over well. This was why she wasn't at practice today on the Sunday. Mm. Yes. There was a risk of Ellison being spied on and photographed, then that certainly applied to her fellow members as well. It could have disrupted their ability to concentrate during the competition, which was absolutely essential in fencing. Luckily for Ellison, she hadn't been asked to step down from participating in the competition yet. Ellison was unusually dejected. She was invincible when it came to physical altercations, but she couldn't combat the random shutter of a person's camera. You know, that's a great idea, Mina. That'd probably be the best option. There's little hope that this sudden interest in Ellison will die down by the day of the competition. If that were the case, then forbidding the media from accessing the facility during the event would be ideal. As luck would have it, we'd had Sylvie's royal cheap powers on our side to accomplish that. But... Hmm? Ellison seemed to be at a loss for words for some reason. What was it? No. <laughs> Grampy? <laughs> the older gentleman appeared out of thin air, politely bowed his head, and then made his way off. His ninja like properties aside, that appeared to have settled this problem. Great. Although Ellison did look run down. <laughs> Yeah, Nani. You could hear that anger dripping from Sylvie's voice. Oh, now I understand. You're right. Forget competition day for a minute. Protecting yourself from being photographed was certainly easier said than done. Huh? For real? That's a tough question to answer. A bed will come to life in the middle of the night. It'll probably summon a yelling slime. She's so goofy. She can't move for crap. If anyone snaps a picture of you dressed like that, It'll cause even more problems. Kill him! Kill them all! Kill them! She would draw attention by virtue of being an interesting looking character, even if she wasn't a gorgeous knight. Ellis son is surprisingly cute, isn't she? You know what? She may not be wrong. <laughs> she's scary, but that doesn't mean she's not an airhead. <laughs> she, she really brought out a whole suit of armor, bro. 
She's so goofy. Which one? That one? The one on the top? Hmm? Yeah, she is. ならもっと可愛く撮ってもらわなくちゃ。はあ。お姫様の感性だとアーナの。まあ、生まれつき注目されるのは仕方ないという面はございますわね。国では皆が私たちのことを知っておりますし。That sounds terrible. The so-called price of fame? エルは可愛いんだから、こんな写真ばかりじゃ困るわ。分かっているエル。これはあなたにも責任があることよ。え、わ、私ですか？普段から可愛い格好をしておかないから、いざこういう時しかめっ面の写真ばかり撮られてしまうのよ。それは別にいいことなのでは？ダメよ。すすいません。
This is somehow worse. One hundred points. I thought this was a clothing shop. This looks more like cosplay. お姫様に使えるわけだからね。メイド服も持っておいた方がいいよねって。一理あります。メイド服？日本のエプロンドレスってこんななの？言われてみればエプロンはついてますけど、露出しすぎじゃなくて？さすが本場の意見は厳しい
今こちらに携帯を向けていたようだが何のことよ There was no telling if he had taken their photo on purpose, but she, he did have a smartphone at a blatantly odd angle. It's one thing to be secretive about it, but this guy was just a few feet, a few feet, feet away when he took their photo. With that, his <laughs> son stepped forward. You know what's crazy too? I heard, and I don't know how true this is, but I heard that in Japan, all phones, not sure if all, all phones, but A lot of phones, or maybe most of them, or maybe all of them, I don't know. Again, I don't know. But a lot of phones have the shutter switch sound on, like permanently. Like it's not an option. Here in America, you could put your phone on silent and take a photo without it going like click. But in Japan, it's always click, click, click. Because apparently there's weirdos in trains going and taking photos of women under the skirt. Can y'all believe that? I can't. <laughs> That's absolutely wild and gross. ドッテナイスよ。何も撮ってない。今撮った写真を見せなさい。場合によっては破棄してもらいます。なんて汚れた毛損だ。と撮った証拠でもあるんすか。不服なら<笑> The guy proceeded to grumble at Elisan. He probably figured he could get through this if he whined enough. What a moron. Those excuses wouldn't get him off the hook when it was this serious. Especially not when Elisan was permitted to take extraterritorial actions, action from Japan. Elisan quickly closed the distance between them. He was acting suspiciously, but when Elisan took a step closer, he ran away. He probably realized that there was no way he could talk himself out of the situation, or he simply succumbed to Elisan's intense gaze and decided to make a quick getaway. Elisan pursued him on the spot. Man, what a pain. You guys stay here. Reyna, if this gets ugly, then find a safe place to hide it. Why? Why would it get ugly? He's just chasing a weirdo. <coughs> Followed after Elisan, having a third party present showed to make it easier to recount the situation should things go south. Luckily, Push. The game of tag was over in an instant. The second that son got serious, she caught up to the man and snatched the smartphone from his grasp without breaking a sweat. いたずら心であろうことは分かりますが、シルビア様に対する盗撮は民事でなく刑事罰がつくレベルの犯罪行為ですよ。ごめんなさい。Everything had been settled by the time I caught up. 削除はするものとして、今回は厳重注意にとどめます。あなた、身分を証明できるものを提出しなさい。え、身分って。Uh, I was sure he only meant this as a prank, but the man appeared petrified when he realized she'd go as far as to look in his personal identity. I bet this had, I bet this was how shoplifting housewife must feel. However, this was the kind of decision someone in Elisan's position could possibly grant. When you consider the possibility of the deleted data being recovered, her only options were to either destroy the phone or look into his identity. There was no room for sympathy. Better get him as spooked as possible. Decided to watch over them. But the man... He was too terrified and took the worst possible measures. He ditched the cell phone, turned tail, and ran away again. An exasperated Elisan struck her shoulders. She had already proved that, in terms of running speed, he had no chance of getting away. But... Uh, hey, what's up? Some quick thinking, the man chose an escape room and made his way toward a nearby irrigation fence. The irrigation channels were around 5 meters across. There was no bridge anywhere near us, but the man had honed in on the narrow pipe which ran in between them. It was a sort of pipe bridge elementary schoolers would cross as part of a test of courage. He reached over and clung to it. Slip. Ah. What? Kirk clang? Ah. Oh! 
What a pitiable outcome. Him falling would have been pitiful on his own, but when his foot slipped and his groin made contact with the pipe underneath him. Oh, that's why he made a weird noise. As a man, I sympathized. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, his boss. I mean, the class of 2050. The situation was becoming even more dicey when the man lost consciousness while straddling the pipe and his center of gravity shifted. His upper body slowly inclined and was about to fall into the river. <laughs> Tug. Ellison cleared the fence in the single bound and clutched on him. <laughs> However, Ellison was struggling to hold him upright now that the half sea set man had passed out. Both of them would pop into the water channel if I didn't do something. Ellison rushed my way up to the fence. I was going to get down on the other side to help, but. <laughs> Huh? Hey, something across Ellison's mind and before I could make it down the other side, she hurled herself from the top of the fence and into the irrigation channel. The leverage principle, huh? She uses the full weight of her body and lifted a man's body. I took the man from her. Ellison smiled at me as if to say thank you, then shifted her focus to the water system. The water level was low, not even 30 centimeters, since it was winter. She was liable to hurt herself if she didn't make a safe landing. The unconscious man would have been seriously injured, but her son managed to pull it off. It was a good, rational judgment call. Yeah, yeah. The extra momentum she used to rescue the man had pulled Edison in the direction of the river, casting her into the water channel. <laughs> it was a good, rational judgment, but I considered it unacceptable to have Edison fall into this filthy water channel. Edison! <laughs> I heaved the man's body roughly to the side of the road and threw myself toward the water channel as well. Grip. I grabbed Edison. Clang. The fence I had taken a hold of made an ear splitting sound. Mm. Ow! <laughs> the song was about to jump down with full force, so the extra impact from her weight caused my arms to be painfully tugged in both directions. But. <laughs> quick, climb up, quick! Ah! <laughs> Ellison managed to avoid falling into the water. Given the second to regain her balance, Ellison was able to return herself around in no time and extend her hand toward the fence. We had both avoided falling in. <laughs> you know, I would have loved to see the visual because I'm a visual person, but for some reason this was hard for me to picture how this whole thing happened. Anyways, we shared a quiet laugh. Ah, crap. Let my guard down. In that instant strength left my injured hand then finally i fell grab or not Arigato. right back at you this time it was other son's arm that supported me she's strong as heck in terms of physical strength it appeared she was stronger as a man this was as pathetic as i got as it got whatever instead of becoming a civil servant in every route he became like a super like chad looking dude in this route he gets all huge and swole then he could finally like overcome you know surpass her strength that would be great that would be really fun <laughs> after she caught me in her arms other son carried me up over the fence <laughs> i'm not sure that a little covers it it had been quite terrifying the nerves and arms were trembling and i was as stiff as a board other son gave me a quick pat on the back Oh, don't worry about it. She had wound up saving me in the end anyway. Unfortunately, the one person who should be thanking her was presently out cold and foaming at the mouth. And so I had her wait until I calmed down. My arms and legs had gotten too wobbly to stand properly. <laughs> Bro fumbled at the very last minute. She grinned as she supported me. Well, what else could you expect? I wasn't like Ellison, who seemed like she came straight out of a fantasy world. Please spare me that action-packed lifestyle. It was only a water channel, but the thought of falling was terrifying. The only thing was, I hadn't gone stiff purely out of fright. This position, I knew what this was. Elisan was hugging me. Oh, nice. Bitties. Her body was soft and warm, and she had this bittersweet aroma. Oh, I really was just in a state of numbness. It wasn't like I wanted to be embraced. But Elisan seriously did have a fantastic figure. But... Pulled away and jumped backward. Ellison was a little surprised. 
Afterward, Ellison called out the black suited troops and had the man, who was on the verge of tears, hauled off. It was likely going to be a terror filled night for him, but hey, I doubted he'd take off his arm. I decided to head back. Nice. The rest of the day was relatively uneventful. <laughs> Ellison and the rest of were what? The Ellison and the rest of us were in the mood to give up. Once something went viral on social media, there was nothing you could do to stop it. All we could do was to wait for everyone to get sick of it. Nice. Yeah, that's the way to go. Oh look, it's our butt person, or so I assumed. We're all having a good time or whatever, and then she pulls up, and I'm like, ah. I'm back to bashing on her because it's not that rude anymore where she likes to get butt stuff. What the? Shogasaki was shooting me a question look. What was her deal? Was she upset I was still using the foyer or something? I was deep in thought when... <sighs> Huh? Huh? With that parting yet confusing comment, Jogosaki went on her merry way. Don't tell me someone took a photo of that. Good god, that's embarrassing. That was when I noticed. Several of the boarders in the foyer were looking back and forward between forward and forth between us and the phones and smirking. Yep. What the <laughs> Reina, who seemed to have been chatting with one of our fellow boarders on Luin, Luine, let out a hysterical yelp. She looked up something or other. Ah, huh? She showed me. She was on the Twister app. I didn't know who had made the post, but it included a picture. Of course. <laughs> let me see the photo, please. I want to see it. No! I want to see the photo! God dang it! And there's two minutes left. What what freaking cliffhanger that is, man. They really gotta show us the photo. I really want to see it. <laughs> I wasn't sure what happened to that guy from before. But we'd miscalculated and hadn't considered the options that he wasn't the only one who'd take candid photographs. We'd somehow forgotten that nearly everyone other than him was also carrying around a device that could take a picture. Say nothing for those who would unintentionally take candid photos. Oh, that's fine. Ellison had pursued that man and had taken him down in an instant. She'd even gone so far as to rescue him after he had escaped to the river. Passer Passersby followed Ellison's cool endeavors closely with her cell phone cameras and had saved not just photos but videos too. Yay! And what better way to end off Ellison's theater production than a passionate embrace from a mysterious Japanese man? Nice. Oh. This is so fun. Huh? Why frustrating? Why do you hate so much for? I know. Everyone was talking about it. Even though it was a simple misunderstanding, word had quickly spread about what had occurred leading up to the moment at the river as well. I bet 9 out of 10 people would assume we were an item after seeing the photo of the two of us hugging. Um, I'm sorry about all of this, Ellison. Ellison was being so cool about all of this, but this would lead to some unexpected side effects. That's the silver lining. The onslaught of nosy photographers had backed off ever since Sunday scandal. Although I was sure word about the guy who got his balls crushed by that pipe and was hauled off by a group of individuals in black suits played a part in this as well. <laughs> I'm so glad he crushed his balls. What a weirdo, bro. What a weirdo. <laughs> all of these in 
All of these different conditions came together to promptly eliminate the peep shot problem. Don't worry about it. It was 100% pure luck after all. It wasn't as if I had done anything. But that did leave one issue resolved before her fencing competition on Sunday. This must be what a blessing in disguise meant. And the son looks quite happy with herself. What's up with her? Hmm? Sylvie was thinking something over. Sylvie said? Sylvie made an outrageous suggestion in her usual absent minded tone. Hold up a second. I, Ichimatsu Oro, will not panic. Take this with some presence of mind. Is son and I? Huh. Where did that come from? あ、そうね。オーロの気持ちを忘れていたわ。どうかしらオーロ、エルはこんなにも可愛くて自慢の私のお友達よ。結婚できるなんてとてもラッキーだと思うわ。あ、that's wow。オーロだって男の子、エルみたいなことを付き合いできるなら嬉しいでしょ。You're Wait, 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 wait. Calm down for a second, Sylvie. This conversation has gone way off the deep end. Although Sylvie nodded, she seemed confused by what I'd say. What I'd said. It had been a while since Princess Sylvie had said something stupid, but here we were. Um, let's talk this through calmly. Calmly, okay? Yes, I'm always calm. <laughs> Where did all this marriage talk come from? Isn't that... Kind of strange, right, Reina? Of course, you're in on it. All right, you be quiet. Bail me out, Kikuchio. そうですね。シルビアさん、ソルティレージのことは知りませんが、日本では結婚というのはまず第一に、お互いが結婚したいと思うことが大切です。Thanks, Kikuchio. Appreciate you. Oh, that's right. Everything's fine as long as you understand. Oh god. <laughs>。You totally don't get it. Like I said, I didn't mean it that way. Hey, Reina, help a poor guy out. What? I mean, may yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Alright, that's enough out of you. Kikuchio, I need your help again. <laughs> oh, God. See, this is why Rain is my favorite. <laughs> she's so dumb. <laughs> no, she's not dumb. She's hilarious. You apologized two times in one minute. Yeah, it's fine as long as you understand. That quick? This is the same routine you pulled earlier. Here we go again. Yeah, yeah, this is the same back and forth as before. No need to speak up. Keep your mouth shut. Give them a piece of your mind already, Ellison. Your job is to stop Zoe when she's on a rampage. <laughs> it's like she just checked out. Like, what's going on with you? 
Now that other song was back in the mix, it felt like we could somehow wrap all of this up. In conclusion, got it. So it seems like there's not gonna be a transition, and uh, I went uh, six minutes overboard, I think. So I'm gonna call it a video. I really wanted to get to the end of this, but uh, I think I think there's a good point to stop at. The funny part passed. Now Arena really caught me off guard with that line. <laughs> you don't like boobs, Odo? What are you gay? Well. That was interesting. <laughs> we have weirdos taking photos. We have uh, this fool trying to get these two together for... Apparently, this reason here. To not get spied on as much. But still, she's so weird about doing things sometimes, I swear. But anyways, I'm done. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi. I certainly did. I had a fun time. It was a f I thought it was a fun episode. It was so... It was so random. So, so random. But funny. I liked it. It was great. I hope you guys did too. And if you did, let me know by hitting that like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this video. Share this channel. Share everything. Thank you. I'd greatly appreciate it. And. No, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I literally have nothing else to say. But uh, now that I'm playing Ella's Root, I actually am kind of looking forward to it now more. You know? I take back all the crap I said. This may actually be very, very interesting. And it has been so far. Anyways, that's it. I'm done for real this time. Thank you once again so much. It really means the world to me. If you made it this far and you watched. Even if it was for like a minute. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, y'all stay safe. And as always, until next time, guys.